first thing that we've done is actually for the horse. Um, there's these horse restraints that are mounted right here on the side, and we've got our nice mechanical horse here. Uh, but these resta restraints can be put into place just like this. That we fold it out, that then lock into place, and they are telescoping. You can remove this pin, slide them in or out, depending on how much of a restraint you want to put on the horse. Um, so those will be able to keep the horse in position while the user is operating it. Um, a few things for the user themselves to keep safe while they are operating it. As first, as you saw in the design, we have this handle that is a simple pin that locks it down and it's able to fold into the place so that we can still fit within that six inch requirement we have. But that just simply unfolds. The pin can go back in to lock it, um, to lock it in place. Um, if I could do it right, but that would do that. It goes right in. Amberly, Amberly's better at it than I am. Um, but also, besides this, there are these safety restraints that are, um, two of them are on top of the platform here. What the rider does is once they're on top of the platform, they can grab these, they release. There's two D-rings placed on the platform that they can um, hook the hook to, they can ratchet it down, and then that's secure. That's what's gonna hold the wheelchair down and they're not gonna be able to move at all. And there are also these ridges that they talked about earlier that are on the platform as well to help the rider know where they're at. It's a lot of it is just for location, orientation on the platform. They know how far forward they are and that they can't go any far backwards because they do know where that is and they can feel it as they ride. So those are the, the, the features that we have in place to ensure that the, safe, the rider can safely operate the system. So after the, the horse restraints are pulled out, the handles lifted up, the rider is securely fat, uh, the horse restraints, or these things, whatever they're <laughs> called, the safety restraints, are holding the rider, then they can operate the system. So this system operates using two uh, hydraulic cylinders. And so the in and out one, as you can see, in, in our testing we had to make it slower, so that's why it goes slow now. Um, and then also the vertical cylinder. And this cylinder, it, it uses this chain which allows the platform to rise twice as far as the stroke of the cylinder. By doing this, it puts more force on the cylinder, but that's not really a concern because the cylinder is designed to lift far more weight than whoever be on this platform. And so just watching that work, you can see that it goes up and down. And then back here, we have all of our, the rest of our hydraulic system. Right here we have our reservoir, we have our valve manifold, our pump, our batteries, and these will all be positioned on the shelf by the wall of the trailer, close to the ceiling. Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about the control system for our device. Um, as you have heard, we have several electronic subsystems within the device itself. So we have our hydraulic system um, with the pump and the valves um, to operate the two hydraulic cylinders. We have this winch. Um, for storage and deploy. We also have a stabilization system that's, that hasn't been installed on this wooden trailer, but we do have it purchased. Essentially, it's two platforms um, that are installed near the axle of the trailer that lower and allow for leveling of the trailer to ensure that it's stable before she actually operates it. Um, and so we decided to uh, consolidate all of our controls into a single interface in this control system. So on our control box, you can control the storage and deploy of the system in, out of the platform, up, down of the platform, and raising and lowering of the stabilization pads um, on the driver's side and passenger side. Um, we also have incorporated, of course, a handheld control. Um, on the handheld control, you have platform up, down, and in, out, and an e-stop. Um, the reason we didn't incorporate any of the other controls is because it was a safety issue. Um, we wanted the user to have to be away from the system before they deploy or store or um, bury the stabilization pads. Um, so I'm going to demonstrate the emergency stop just quickly. So the way the emergency stop works, there's one here and here. Um, so if you're operating it, for whatever reason you need to stop it, you hit the emergency stop and everything is frozen and nothing works. All you have to do is release the, the emergency stop and then everything operates as it should. Um, I'm also going to show you inside the box real quick. So this is our programmable logic controller. Um, so we decided to go with a PLC because it allows for uh, much greater variability 
um, with our design. As you can see, it's a. It's a so, I'll turn the time over to Amber. So as Amberly's demonstrating this, I'm just going to give a little bit of history. Um, you heard a little bit about Amberly in there. Amberly is a pretty outstanding individual. Um, I had the opportunity to know Amberly uh, serendipitously before we were ever assigned to this project, and um, she is an outstanding individual. She's been involved with rodeo and uh, FFA for her entire life. Um, unfortunately, in 2010, she was involved in a tragic accident. Um, that left her paralyzed from the waist down, but she still um, is an active barrel racer. So um, I'm going to walk you through kind of the order of operations of what Amberly would do um, when she arrived at the site when she was going to ride. Um, oh, and while she does this, I'll just mention this as well. The, the safety restraints are totally adjustable. They're fastened to the expanded metal on the platform, and we're actually going to end up needing to move that D-ring so she can hook that hook on the D-ring. Um, but anyway, order of operation. She would arrive at the site where she uh, is going to ride. She would park the truck, get out, deploy the system, open the horse restraints, uh, unload her horse, and uh, put the horse in the stall. Uh, then she would put up the handle um, and roll onto the platform as she, done, as she has done, and um, secure the safety restraints, and then move into position. So now we will... Enjoy the moment of truth. No, that was.